Good morning guys from another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Swat. But not for long guys, we're gonna be taking a 12 hour cruise to Hunza Valley, which is apparently the best place in Pakistan to visit. So we're going to cruise on up there and prove if it is the best spot. But let me tell you this, the nature since we've gotten to Swat has been better and better. If you look here, this is what we woke up to this morning. We have the river flowing by, we have picturesque views of the mountains, other villages in the back snow-capped mountains and just that brisk nice cool morning where all you want to have is a cup of coffee and a nice winter hat on so it's an amazing place one day in swat to be honest with you was not enough we got a quick look at it but unfortunately we're limited on time so hopefully at some point in the future inshallah we'll be able to come back to swat and explore more of this place because as you can see here there's a reason why they call it the switzerland of Pakistan. All right, guys, let's go ahead and cruise on down to find the boys. It is going to be time to hit the road. Oh, and we already found one, Hello, aka Sire. the British lad. Good morning to all. Oh, he's ready. Never been more ready. This guy's usually tired or asleep at this time. Something, something's got me awake. I think it's the excitement for Hunza. Uh huh. True that. True that. Well, let's do it, bro. Good morning, gentlemen. How are we doing? How are you? Oh, never been better today. Nice, nice. Refreshed and ready to go. Good morning, Good morning. brother. Good morning. How are things? Fine, thanks. Nice. Yeah, very good. You guys ready for a solid 12 hour cruise? Yes. Uh huh. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, pretty well. Yep, yep. Yeah. Pretty good. A little brisk and chilly here in the morning. Saying goodbye to these beautiful views in SWAT. And we're en route. Let's see what time here. Bright and early, 7 13 a.m., guys. Yep, so it's gonna be chai time first. Yes, chai time. Uh huh. I'm thinking it's a Karak chai morning. Uh huh. We've got the uh, gentleman up front leading the way here. Hello. And we have arrived here. Steaming morning here in the tea shop. Sabah bakheo, salam alaikum yar. Abkesehe. So this is some fresh chai being produced here. Uh huh, and something good over there. Looks like some coffee. You have a uh, Karak chai? Yeah, this is Karak chai. Oh, that's Karak chai. That's, mm -hmm. that's a good question. I reckon that's probably just enough for you. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just slam the milk. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Good, good, good. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we've got a chill spot right up here with the boys. Uh huh. Good we're able to find a uh, chai place that's open this early because when we were exploring last night, all the places were saying there's no way we're going to be up at 7 a.m. Mm. So we were up uh, down the road at uh, one of the SWAT more developed areas, maybe five minutes down the road. And all the coffee shops there because we were like, oh, because there's some really nice people that offered us like a free donut there. Great, great Pakistani hospitality. And we're like, we'd love to come and try the coffee. We didn't want to try it last night because we didn't want to be awake all night. And so we're like, can we come tomorrow at 7 a.m.? And they're like, no, we're closed. So I was like, oh no, who? they're missing out. You know, now's the best time to enjoy chai and coffee, bright and early. So here's the place here. We've got some uh, decor up top. So guys, as we're waiting for the chai to come out, we're gonna have some Kitae biscuits. Here they are. I didn't share with you guys where we got them from, but actually Fatima and her family gifted us a box of cookies to go with. So they're super delicious. They taste like a shortbread almost with some sort of like almonds on top and a little cream and they are. Mm. Might be one of my favorite cookies I've had here in Pakistan. Loaded with so much sugar, it's delicious. All right, guys, the Karak Chais have arrived. You boys got Karak Chai also, or you got something else? Same, Karak Chai. Oh, so it's four Karak Chais. Enjoy. This is with one sugar, and you have with sugar. Uh, all right, with sugar here. Thank you. I'm gonna let this one cool down, because, oh yeah, too hot to sit. All right, guys, it's probably cooled down enough for me to be able to handle it. So let's try out the uh, Karak Chai. Oh yeah, I'm feeling wired already. That's some strong stuff, look at it. Look at Akram over here, he's ready to go. I'm fresh. Uh, I'm fresh and ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How you digging it over there, boss? Yeah, it's strong. <laughs> uh huh. Pretty good, pretty good. The British lot approves. I think I finally decided Karak Chai is my favorite out of all chais I've had here. Then number two is the pink one. What's the pink one called? Kashmiri Chai. Ah, Kashmiri Chai. That's a good one. Especially when there's like little pieces of nuts in it. It's a nice little texture to it. That was a delicious chai tea. Shukriya. Shukriya, Tige chai. You can also get the paratha breads here, guys. They're sizzling, fresh, and ready to go. Allah Hafiz. Shukriya, Allah Hafiz. So, guys, as you can see, it's the uh, busyness of another morning here in SWAT on a Wednesday. And we're uh, making our way through this 12 hour journey. 
we're gonna be making some stops along the way so this is definitely gonna be a fun road trip both for uh, us in the car here as well as for you guys to watch because we're gonna have some picturesque landscapes and in about 65 kilometers from now we'll get to our first one and the name is one more time shangla top shangla top then bishan then bishan all right so we're gonna have some exciting places i don't know too much about them but that's what's fun for both you guys and me is it's going to be a surprise for all of us but one thing i can tell you is i can imagine it's going to be beautiful because as we make our way outside of swat right now we're seeing more and more snow-capped mountains which are adding for this beautiful picturesque drive <laughs> And this, my friends, is a very, very loaded up truck. You can see that the amount of stuff in there is like three times the size of the truck. This is mind blowing and this is Pakistani efficiency right there. Uh -huh. So guys, we just made it to our first police checkpoint and the lad, the, 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 uh, the British lad got us busted again. We got the big guns here. We've got trucks cruising by full with some fresh delicious chow and we're up here on the mountain it's getting much much colder as we go further up here but as you can see we've got pine trees now that are starting to surface and beautiful views out here in the distance i'll tell you though guys my body is not used to this uh, cold weather let's see what the hair man found over here oh uh, so this is the uh, the guards uh, station here and oh that's nice so that keeps you nice and warm in here nice and toasty yeah, it's very nice. These trucks, as you can see, they load them up all the way and they're nicely decorated. Salam alaikum. As you can see, they've got the, uh, the designs and uh, nice art there all the way up top. Yeah, it looks quite nice. Got the Pakistan flag right there. And even the license plate's got a nice design all over it. And this, my friends, is how we stay warm here. So we've got the nice heat. Salam alaikum, my friends. Salam, salam. Oh, good name, good name. Oh, yes, guys, and you already know it. We have round two chai for the morning. Shukriya. That's going to be nice. Is this uh, what type? Zafrani, Karak? This is the same, Karak chai. Karak chai. Oh, my favorite. Best chai. Uh huh. You know what's better? You know what's great to have a crock chai? is right around a uh, nice warm fire, guys. That's the way to do it up here in the mountains. Mmm. Good chai. Very good chai. Mm-hmm. Oh, we've got some fresh biscuits here, too. Let's see how these taste. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice little biscuit stop here at the police station, guys. Another day in the life. Every day is interesting. Good biscuits. Allah Hafiz, shukriya. Shukriya, Allah Hafiz. And we're en route. So now we're clear for the next like six checkpoints? Yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. Perks of being with Akram and Muhammad. They're taking care of getting us through these quick and easy. Because let me tell you this, I didn't practice my Peshwar or Urdu enough to be able to tell these policemen <laughs> that we're nice people traveling through here. A very nice uh, security and police here. That's just, uh, you know, once again, uh, absolute Pakistani hospitality at its finest. At any moment, they brought us into their guardhouse here, got us some uh, tea and some biscuits to uh, get us wired for this road trip and continue through the mountains. So let's do it. So guys, we're back in the car now and we are only about 30 miles or 45 kilometers from the Afghanistan border and we're going through some mountain towns here and uh, the police officers right in front of here, they're actually gonna be escorting us through this town for our own safety and then they're gonna pass us over to another set of police officers to make sure nothing happens to us. So the good news is, is they're loaded with uh, the AK-47s in case anything goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a pretty wild travel experience. What do you think, Harry? I'm very surprised, but <laughs> it's nice to see that we're in safe hands. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So here we go. This feels like a Call of Duty mission. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you guys know if anything wild happens. So here's the town we're going through. It seems like they've got uh, quite a few markets over here. It doesn't sound like there's any Taliban presence here. No. no, no. But um, it's just more to uh, keep us out of trouble just in case, because you never know. And so guys, this is one of those moments I feel like my life's a bit of a movie. We're cruising through uh, just outside of the Afghanistan border here in Pakistan in an area that's maybe a little unstable by a police escort with multiple AK-47s and then traffic comes to a complete stop. So I feel like this is when something crazy happens. But uh, as of now, it seems like the traffic's moving again. So we just switched uh, caravans that we're following here. We've got a, uh, another set of gentlemen here. 
taking us safely through this area. A little bit different of uh, police uniforms, but. And of course, guys, it's just like the movie scenes where right now the cell phones don't have signal, they're on E. So, you know, if all hell breaks loose, something happens to these kind police officers and it's just us on our own, that means good news is I was watching the markets, saw where you can buy guns just in case we got to take it into our own hands. A crimes uh, family uh, is in the hunting business, so the good news is, is he knows how to shoot a pistol pretty well, so yeah. we'll survive this, yeah? I'm expert in... Ex exactly. Expert in tactical uh, warfare here, when necessary. Not needed. But not needed, exactly. Exactly. No, it's it's uh, obviously I'm making it a little bit more exciting and suspenseful, guys. But like, no one that we've even driven past has given us a dirty look. Like, you never know. Maybe it's, you know, maybe here's just more common for people steal stuff. So they see foreigners, they might think it's an opportunity. So that's why the police are just making sure we have a good experience. So obviously, if I make things a little bit suspenseful, that might be for your entertainment. But at the end of the day, I mean, we do have a police escort with multiple AK-47. So <laughs> in reality, like there is still some risk. But I don't want to downplay it. But I also don't want you guys to be like too worried or anything. Guys, honestly, the drive keeps getting better and better as we're weaving through these mountains. As you can see here, we've got uh, multiple bridges. Probably every maybe half kilometer I've seen a bridge lately, or maybe even less than that, once every maybe quarter kilometer. So it's uh, quite, a, quite an enjoyable view to just look out, see the river flowing. You can kind of see it a bit better now. Salam Alaikum. We're losing the, the uh, escort. Shukriya. Shukriya, my friends. Allah Hafiz. Very kind police officers, guys. We have made it through that area and we're continuing the journey through the uh, beautiful mountains. Nice guys there that they uh, took us probably 20 kilometers, uh, 20, 30 kilometers total between the two escorts. So very kind of them. Didn't cost any money, right? No. Yeah, just, just out of their kindness to uh, make sure us tourists have a great experience here. So the road continues about another, what, 10 hours, did you say? Nine hours? Almost. Almost nine hours, yeah. So it's going by really quick. That's the one thing. I do love road trips in the US. I did a lot of road trips last year. So if you guys haven't seen those videos, definitely a different vlogging style back then, but um, road trips are definitely a uh, amazing thing to do when you have great scenery to look at. I've gone through some areas where the scenery isn't great and the road trips can feel quite long. But when you have changing picturesque views, you're going through villages like this. Honestly, it's an experience in itself just driving in the car. Colorful they are. These are all uh, exports you said? I'm guessing. Are they exporting timber? No, uh, they are building it in uh, Sawat and shifting it from uh, Jalas area or maybe from Koistan area. Ah, okay. And why, why are they stopped? Is that to like... Uh, yeah, there is a forest department over here, the check post. I think they are checking their legal documentations. Ah, okay. And then they will leave. And there are also traffic guys over there. So maybe after 8 p.m. they will allow them to travel. Oh, really? Uh, for safety daytime, reasons? Yeah. No, for security reasons. It's because in the daytime these small cars are also moving. Mm. So that's why at the night after 8 p.m. Okay. There is less traffic, so ah, there is uh, no that much risk. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing some serious off-road here. We're in a we're in a lake right now, mini one. <laughs> no, just a big little puddle here. Cruising through. So we're arriving into the beautiful city of Basham, and it's just lit up right now with that morning sunshine, giving it such a nice glow to drive into. Incredible. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Meeting some of the kind locals in Basham here. Nice people. You've ever stayed the night in Basham? Yes, many times. Many times, yeah. yeah. It looks actually much bigger than I expected. It kind of just came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, it's a pretty big city. Right here in the mountains, guys. Riverside is called Indus River. Industry River, yeah. From there, you can see it. No airport over here, though, right? And Bishan, no. no. Only in Gilgit. Only in Gilgit, yeah. Salam alaikum. Ab kaise hai? Tige, ab kaise hai? Kigar ja rahe hai? Tige. Gilgit yara. Gilgit. Yaw, ya Allah khair se pohunja diya. Shukriya. Allah hafiz yar. Allah hafiz. Allah hafiz. I mean the locals here. Very friendly people here. 
everyone's got a big smile when you say hello to them. So Karam's got a great idea. Can you guys guess what it is? Yup, chai time. Round three. Three chai, doctor away. Exactly, three chai a day keeps the doctor away. Three chai a morning. We gotta get up to 10 chais by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like we found ourselves a Basham chai spot. This is your guys' go-to spot? Yeah. Yeah, the good one? This is the bus stand of all Karakurum Highway. All the buses come over here. Oh, the buses, yeah. For lunch, for chai, and oh. then they leave to Islamabad or they leave to Gilgit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep, welcome to Hansa Valley, Gilgit, Balistan. There's the British lad down there. He was out petting goats. Did you pet him? Huh? Did you pet it? Uh, it's like uh, well, better luck next time. It was messy over there. Abkezahe. Tiga? All right, we have located the spot. Yeah, it's back in there. Go enter that room and then it's in there. Hi. This is it, yeah? All right, guys, you already know. Round number three, chai time. Uh, ground with that pour, look at that. Brings oh, it up, yeah. brings it up. Let's wow. it oxidize a bit and then boom, brings it right down. No spillage there. <laughs> That's gonna be G double O D. Good. Chai taste part three. Yeah. Huh? Oh, that was the hottest gulp I've taken yet. Yeah. This time the karak without sugar. Might need to toss a little sugar in there, sweeten it up, and we'll have a nice cup here. So these guys are from Hunza also? Uh, from Hunza? Yeah. Uh, Tige place. So they yeah. are facilitating uh, the local Hunza people from oh. Gibi. Oh, very all nice. the Gibi cars, bus, yeah. and all the trucks are coming over here. For breakfast, yeah, yeah. lunch, and dinner. Ah, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Very yeah. nice. That's if great. If there's any emergency or something like happens in surrounding over here, these guys are helping them. Ah, very nice. Out. That's great. Okay. Shukriya, Allah Hafiz, yaar. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. Ah, very kind people. It is amazing how welcoming and friendly everyone is here. Every single person. There's been very, very few on this entire three or four weeks I've already been here, where people like. <laughs> There's a couple that maybe are a little shy, so I got the camera up, but you can't blame them, right? We got the hair man back at it, scouting for cows. Ooh. Harry's getting himself in some trouble. That looks like the mom and that looks like the kid, and it's staring at Harry. Harry was just telling me a story about someone that got attacked by a uh, cow, and then now he's out here doing it. Hey, good luck, lad. I'm fearless. Didn't fearless get, until the cow takes you out. Didn't get taken out today, guys. We live to see another day. Inshallah. And there's the ride, guys. We're gonna, oh. It's time to continue today's road trip. All right, guys, we're probably 30% through the journey here, and the uh, police escorts continue while we're looking at incredible scenery. We've got uh, one, one police officer on the back there. No heavy artillery this time. Just cruising through here, and as you can see on Posh's side, he goes by uh, Posh. I've been calling him Akram, that's his first name, last name Posh, legend. Yes. And uh, he's got the good views right over here. You guys can see the uh, further we go on this trip, the higher we're going in the mountains. So we're still got uh, quite a quite a higher distance to climb, yeah? It's quite a higher altitude to climb. We're making a uh, quick little pit stop over here, guys. Drone? Is Tige? Perfect. As you guys can see, we're doing a little stop off here. We're changing from one police to the next as soon as they arrive. So some time to stretch those legs Ah, after a uh, 12 hour drive and with some nice views into the city. We've got somewhat of a turquoise water down there, the brown mounds, and then further in the distance, we have the snow capped mounds. And then we have some cows hanging out there. Move out of the way. Guys, we made a quick pit stop right over here. That's where they have the uh, hydro power plant right down there. So it's quite cool in the turquoise mountains. And we had some cows that enjoyed watching us fly the drone. They were a little confused by it. And now it looks like our police escort's here. So we're gonna continue moving. The landscapes here are mesmerizing, guys. I am seriously so excited about it. Oh, this just gives me a small sneak peek 
on what Hunza is going to look like. So make sure if you guys aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of this Hunza Valley beauty. Let's go. Pakistani traffic coming through, coming through, Bye. out of the way. Look at that right here, guys. We're going around the side of a mountain. We got a uh, petroleum truck right here cruising around and another truck coming right by. <laughs> I had a feeling there was going to be some content there, Harry. <laughs> right in front of us, highly flammable. As you can see, the views are getting better and better. And all right, good news is we made it safely past the gasoline truck, petrol truck. Oh, a little waterfall truck wash and natural station. That's one way to conserve water, guys. Just park your truck right next to the waterfall, get it cleaned up, and keep moving. All right, got a little spot for lunch right over here, local spot. And we're right in an incredible part. Wow, unreal. So here, welcome to Koistan. Koistan. Where the Koistan area starts. Wow, so this is Koistan. Yeah, the border between uh, KPK, KPK. Uh, and uh, Koistan, uh, between Bisham and Koistan, sorry. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, as you can see, we've got a uh, beautiful area. Hey, what do you want to eat? Uh, paratha bread. This way is best view. This way? I want to get a photo up on that rock over there. That's fine for me to go to the rock? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going a little off the beaten path here to uh, to go right over here. And here we go, guys. There's the rock right there. And here we are. Wow, what an incredible place. Who would have thought all the way up here in Pakistan, you're going to find turquoise blue waters. Now we're doing the hike back for the chow. Unfortunate to see so much litter right there. And we're scaling the side of the mountain. I feel like it's much easier to go back than it was the other way. Ah. Oh yeah, baby, we're back with new photos. Uh-huh, uh-huh. With good views over here. And the waterfall, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, we got our own private room. Perfect, with some delish chow. So what's on the menu today? Dalmash, this one. And this is beef, and this is mutton or beef, I don't know. Very nice. Maybe also beef. And musa. Salt. And salt. Salt, so, all right. Chapati. 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 Little chapati. traditional chow right here. I think this one's my favorite. Mm. Mashtan. Mashtan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got a healthy taste to it. How is it, bro? Really good to try both those. Now I'm gonna try some of the mutton. Mmm, really nice. Big mutton guy. Yeah, man. very cooked very slowly. A lot of oil in there. Perfect, nice little snack. Mm -hmm. Tige. Nothing like that nice warm bread. Grab the mutton, scoop it right up just like that. I haven't washed my hands in hours, but uh, that's all right. <laughs> that's how you build the immune system though. Oh yeah, guys, that was a delicious meal. So that is going to be part one of this video where we head up to Hunza. Since it's such a long road trip, there's so many landscapes going to share this as a second part. So it keeps the suspense going, keeps you guys excited to see what we're gonna explore in tomorrow's video so if you've enjoyed this one make sure to smash that like button if you want to see more videos both here in pakistan part two and all around the world hit that subscribe button below and i will see you guys tomorrow